Okay, new review from PullUpDip.com. I just did a recent review on their trings, which were fantastic. And now I'm reviewing their much bigger pull-up dip contraption for both indoor and outdoor mounting use, which seems to be a bit more of a robust and solid solution to the question, what do you do when you don't have a place to do pull-up and dip work? The company was kind enough to send me both mounting solutions as it can be used for both indoor use with this plate that just attaches to a wall with the included hardware and with this mounting solution which straps to a tree, post, or any sort of a strong vertical support giving you a lot of attachment options for both indoor and outdoor use. So my first impression on this unit when I first received it was actually, my gosh, this thing is heavy. When I saw the box outside my door, I was like, oh good, yay, new toys to play with. And I tried to pick it up and it's certainly something that you can move, but it's like, wow, this thing is really actually quite heavy. Although my cat really appreciated the box after I had opened it up and put some catnip into it. The first thought that came to my mind was, if this is supposed to be all about portability and stuff, it's not nearly to the degree of like the set of trings or a suspension trainer, which you can use for pull-ups and dips and just put it into a quick little backpack or even a pocket, which is why the company also makes this, which they send me. This is a heavy duty backpack designed to carry the pull-up dip bar. And this is as backpacks go really nice. I really am enjoying uh, the use of this. I use this for just day packs when I go hiking and stuff. Plenty of pockets for everything, including HTO bladder and stuff. So if you're going to be using it for a portable option, highly recommend getting the backpack designed to be carrying it. So I would consider actually the whole thing to be quote, semi-portable, like a kettlebell. Something you can kind of move from one area of your uh, property to another or maybe take to the park, but it's not exactly something I'm gonna be traveling with. So let's get right into the nitty gritty of the actual unit itself. What are my impressions? Well, first off, I really like the paint job that they have on this. It has an ever so slight texture, but it's not rough on the hands, perfect for using with chalk, and it has a really durable finish too. I've kind of dropped this on the ground several times, no scratches or anything to speak of. And I also really appreciate the width of these dip bars. When I first got it, I thought these are gonna be way too wide. One of my pet peeves about dip bar design is everybody thinks you're under the giant when using it. These were the perfect width for my body size and I'm like 5'10 or so. So these are great. And it just has the handles wherever you want it to be. If you wanna go wide grip, narrow grip, neutral grip, commando grip, uh, using a neutral grip for pull-ups. It seems like they've got every bar in precisely the right placement and comfort for whatever type of hanging or dip calisthenics you'll be using. Furthermore, setup is really easy. These two bars just attach with these pull pins, which are attached with these cables, so that way you don't lose them. And once they're in and you have your weight on them, it doesn't seem to be loose. It feels like a full-on solid mounted pull-up and dip bar. Now, one of the things to note is that this is designed to be both a pull-up and dip unit. You just simply have it angled upwards for doing hanging work like pull-ups and leg raises and so forth. And then you flip it upside down and it has this little locking pin to make sure that it doesn't come undone or slip off. And that way you have it for dip bars. But I noticed that the height difference is such that if I have the unit set up for an optimal height for either dips or pull-ups, for me at least at 5'10", it wasn't really the ideal height for the other exercise. So if I had it high enough that I could get a full body weight hang and then I flipped it upside down, it felt like I was trying to jump up to do dips on dip bars that were roughly around chin height. If possible, certainly doable, but not the most ergonomic. I would recommend getting two of these plates. That way you can have one plate mounted fairly high for optimal pull-up and hanging use, and the other one a little bit lower that you can use for the sake of dips. Yeah, hell, you could even put one even lower then and have it even lower, and those dip bars can be kind of a makeshift set of paralytes that you can use for things like push-ups and L-sits. So after playing with this thing for about a month, I have to conclude this is a great piece of equipment. It's strong, it's sturdy, it's portable, it does exactly what it says it does. But at the same time, I have to kind of scratch my head and think, but what good is it? What purpose does this really serve? And you might be thinking, well, duh, Matt, it's portable pull-up dip station. Well, yeah, but you can get portability through a set of trings or a suspension trainer. It's a lot more portable, lightweight and compact. It's a lot more cost-efficient, and you get a lot more versatility from just that. 
So why have something that's bigger, heavier, more expensive, and less versatile? And the answer to that is that yes, you can do everything on a set of rings that you would do with this thing and potentially even more. But in the calisthenics training universe, there's always going to be a place and a need or even just a preference for strong, solid mounted bars that offer a lot more structural support and stability. And this is a bit of a niche product for that sort of thing. My freestanding bodyweight master is great, but I can't really do like suspension work off of it because it'll tip around and stuff. This thing mounted to the wall or a sturdy tree, you can lean back and do all sorts of rear flies and stuff with their trings and do all sorts of also associated band work and stuff, much more of a solid unit. So I imagine this is one of those things where if you're thinking, well, this will be great for portable pull up and dip, but I'm not exactly sure where to use it, you may be better off with their trings. But if you're looking around your property and going that tree would be perfect, that post would be an awesome place to put the pull up unit or this wall in my basement would be a good place to have a dip station mounted to the wall, this is exactly what this is designed for. So I wanna thank pullupdip.com for furnishing this for this review. Thank you very much guys, it's a pleasure to work with you as always again. And if you wanna learn more and check out more options, indoor versus outdoor use, as well as a couple of accessories that work well with this, link is down below. It is an, again an affiliate link which helps to support RDP. And there's a promo code down there, RDP10 for 10% off if you decide to purchase. Thank you very much for watching. Comments and questions down below. Be fit and live free.